My name is Dawood Nasimi. I'm uh, David Beckman. I'm Rabbi Jerry Serrata. And the story is very beautifully explained in the Quran that says that قَالَ يَا بُنَيَّ إِنِّي أَرَاكَ فِي الْمَنَامِ Oh my dear son, I see you in the dream أَنِّي أَذْبَحُكَ that I'm going to slaughter you. Abraham felt that he should sacrifice the dearest thing in his life to demonstrate his submission to Allah. Abraham proceeds with his son. They walk without speaking. They arrive at, where, at the site uh, where he has been commanded to sacrifice his son. Then uh, when the father was ready to slaughter his son, God provides an animal, a, ram, a lamb, a sheep. An angel calls out from heaven and says, I know that you fear God, you are God-fearer, you respect God, therefore you don't have to go through with this sacrifice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala announced that, Ya Ibrahim, qad sadaqta ru'ya. Oh Ibrahim, you have indeed fulfilled the dream. The story of Abraham and especially the story of uh, Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son, uh, you know, that's the theme of Probani. It's an important story uh, for Jews, Christians, Muslims. The story is the same story. It's a universal story, really. It becomes very important for us and a responsibility that uh, we share the meat with people. A lot of poor people who never, maybe throughout the year, do not eat the meat. Uh, and a lot of people who cannot afford normally to eat meat, it becomes a great festivity for them uh, at this time of the year to uh, get all the meat. I love the fact that in Bravani, Muslims use meat as their sacrifice. It's meat that's given to your neighbors and to your family, your neighbors, and to people who are so poor that they might not be able to eat. What was distinct about Abraham is he understood God's command to be connected with taking care of the vulnerable, the people who were in need. God chose Ibrahim to be a blessing for all of humanity. When we do it and we feel like we, I'm following the legacy of Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salam, I'm following the tradition of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, it brings a special feeling. It brings a special feeling of uh, charity, a special feeling of sacrifice. If we're serious about helping hungry people, it's not just giving them a piece of meat on the holiday. It is changing our society and the world so that people can climb out of hunger and poverty and don't need to rely on charity the next decade or two decades from now. Those of us who say that he was our spiritual father, of course we have that obligation uh, and that aspect of humanitarianism that was basic to the, the entire family of Ibrahim.